Hi, and welcome to I Love the Library. My name is Lisa Trana, and I'm the new Public Services Supervisor here at the Detroit Lakes Public Library. And today I would like to talk about a few of our new books. So today I'm going to be talking about The Oracle by Clive Kussler and Robin Purcell. I personally just finished this book this weekend. It was a very action-packed book, fun read, and kind of reminded me a little bit of Indiana Jones. It's the 11th book in the Sam and Remy Fargo adventure series. However, I haven't read any of the other ones in the series and I was able to read it just fine and understood everything. Uh, in this book, husband and wife team Sam and Remy Fargo embark on yet another interesting adventure in Africa as they try to find a treasured yet cursed scroll and prevent robbers from destroying the school for girls that the Fargos have started in Nigeria. It's a very interesting read. Next on our list, we have the Summer Wise by Beatrice Williams. And although sad, summer is sadly coming to an end, this book is still worth reading. It is filled with mystery and romance and a perfect combination of things to forget your end of summer blues. And set in the years the 30s, the 50s, and 60s, Williams is able to show the rise and somewhat fall of the powerful Fisher family on the elite and secretive island, the Winthrop Island. This island consists of the rich summer families coming to visit and the Portuguese working class who maintain the island while they're there and while they're gone. Caught between two worlds, Madame Schuler, whose mother married Hugh Fisher, is uneasy with the status that has come with the increase of wealth. After a murder, Miranda leaves the island but comes back later to seek justice for the man she once loved and even if that means uncovering all the secrets of Winthrop Island. Murder, love, and status combine together to create this fascinating read. Our next book is Passive or Mission Critical by Mark Greeny. This is the eighth book in the Gray Man series and is packed full of action and adventure. Gort Gentry is a freelance assassin on contract with the CIA and is heading back to the United States when a CIA transport plane picks up another security team carrying a prisoner. When the plane lands in England to deliver the prisoner, an attack is made and Gentry is the only one that survives. Gentry is then ordered to go after the attackers and retrieve the prisoner. But back in Virginia, Gentry's former lover Zoya is being pursued by a team of killers. Will Gentry and Zoya succeed in their missions? This thriller will keep you on the edge of your seat until the very end. And in spite of being the eighth book in the series, it has been said that this book is a very good standalone. Next on the list is The Matchmakers List by Sonia Lally. I found this to be a very enjoyable read, although at times the main character did annoy me a bit. However, despite the small annoyances, I believe that the overall theme of how the traditions are changed through one small ripple at a time was quite fascinating. Reina, at the age of 29, had finally given in to her grandmother's matchmaking ideas through a series of hilariously bad dates and decent dates. Reina and her grandmother, Nani, discover a lot about acceptance and how traditions change. This multicultural romantic comedy is a perfect lighthearted read, especially for these rainy days. Next on the list is Pacifier by Taylor Anderson. This is the 14th book in the Destroyer Men series and according to reviews is another solid addition to the series. In an alternate Earth, Matt Reddy in his Destroyer, the USS Walker, leads the humans and the Lemurians in armies in an intense battle against the Griks. On the other side of this world, General Sheena, leader of the Army of the Sisters, prepares for an assault against the mysterious El Paso del Fuego. Will these two leaders be able to survive and will their armies be able to win the battles? Everything is on the line and there are no second chances in war. If you're a fan of sci-fi and war, then this series would be for you. And lastly, we have The Oyster Thief by Sonia, Sonia Faruqi. The human and mermaid world collide in this underworld story, underwater story overflowing with intrigue and adventure. Coraline is a mermaid engaged to the merman to her dreams. However, when her younger brother falls ill to, to an oil spill, Coraline goes on a journey to discover the legendary elixir to heal him. Izar is a human who is on the cusp of creating an invention that will help him and able to mine the bottom of the ocean. However, this mining adventure would also destroy the entire mermaid world. When Izar's father falls ill, Izar finds a way to cure him, but through a series of events, Izar becomes a merman and actually joins Coraline on her quest. Neither of them knowing about their past, which could tear a giant riff in their growing relationship. This intriguing tale brings a fanciful take on ocean conservation. 
thank you very much and for watching and I hope to see you come check out these awesome books. <laughs>